Good morning, friends, Messiah Lutheran Church and parishioners, and all those who are um, joining in today. Uh, once again, this is Deacon John. I hope your week is going well. For the last several weeks, I discussed renowned hymn writers and their contribution to our modern Lutheran liturgy. Uh, I would like to talk about John Yugosaker. I would be remiss if I did not take time to discuss him and his contribution to the contemporary Lutheran folk music genre. Professor Garcia Grindo at St. Paul's Luther Seminary described John Yugosaker as the Bob Dylan of Lutheranism. <laughs> Indeed. The protest music of Pete Seeger had a heavy influence on Yuga Sacker songs. During the 60s, John was continually active in the civil rights movement, and many of his early songs and hymns reflected the social justice themes of the times. For today's reflection, however, I would like to focus on his academic work and the hymns that appear in the ELW. John earned his bachelor's degree in music and history in 1959 from Concordia College in Moorhead. He then pursued a master's degree at the University of Minnesota. Before the ELCA merger, he spent 15 years working for the American Lutheran Church, our, the former church body, the ALC, in Minneapolis in their media services division. And that's where he became the composer in residence for many of their projects. He was also the music director at Reformation Lutheran Church in St. Louis Park in Minnesota during those same years. John began traveling throughout the country to lead music at churches, conference, retreats, conventions. He even wrote themes for the youth gatherings for four decades. He was renowned for his paraphrase of biblical texts and theological astuteness as well as his ability to recognize readily singable tunes from all around the world. His workshops provided a message and encouragement to both clergy and laity that worship music, sh worship music should be easily sung by those in the pews, making the service e easier for full participation from the assembly. I am sure that many of you are familiar with his best known hymn, I was there to hear your morning cry. I challenge you to read the text or sing this song without shedding a tear. The message of this song strikes a universal umbilical cord about how God is with us throughout our life. Out of his 2,000 plus hymns, three of them appear in our evangelical worship book, Drawn to the Light, ELW 593, we are baptized in Christ Jesus, number 451, and of course, Morning Cry in the ELW 732. During this time of pandemic, I would like to call your attention to his hymn, Drawn to the Light. After I read you this simple but profound text, I will play you the melody explaining how he composed it. I will then play it to a harmonized tune. The text goes like this. People who walk in darkness have sought a light in the heart of the darkest night. Just when we thought all would be lost, we were drawn to the light of God. The refrain, dawn is in sight, gone is the night, drawn to the light in the morning. Glorious and bright, oh, what a sight to be drawn to the light of God. How can we tell a heaven from hell if everyone dwells in the dark of night? Morning dispels, gently compels, and we're drawn to the light of God. And again, dawn is in sight, gone is the night. Drawn to the light in the morning, glorious and bright, Oh, what a sight to be drawn to the light of God. Where is the sun? Oh, there will be none. The Lamb is the one who is shining bright, 
bids us to come, life has begun when we're drawn to the light of God. And then again, dawn is in sight, gone is the night. Drawn to the light in the morning, glorious and bright, oh, what a sight to be drawn to the light of God. The melody to Drawn to the Light is written in an arpeggiated form. Now, before I go further with the melody, let me explain what an arpeggio is. An arpeggio is a set of four notes on a scale um, separated by certain intervals, and it sounds like this. And usually when a melody has an arpeggiated melody, it usually is an acclamation. Uh, I think of the hymn, Up from the grave he arose. Up. Of course, if we can do the uh, uh, arpeggios in different versions, the most famous of the arpeggios that we all recognize is... Simply four notes make up this arpeggio. Okay, so in the melody to draw into the light, John takes this and makes it an arpeggiated melody. And if you didn't get it the first time, he repeats it again. frame goes like this. Very step-like, it's just a um, scale step. But then we go back to this. simple melody easy to sing is one that if you don't know it you hear it and it's as if you've known it all your life now with a harmony it goes like this and I'll do an arpeggiated accompaniment with it Let us pray. 
Holy God, we give you thanks for the musical mind and theological depth that you gave to your servant, John Uvesacher. We thank you for all composers and artists who seek to proclaim your kingdom through music. Be with all church musicians as we seek new and creative ways of expressing your good news of love and grace. All this we ask in Christ's name we pray. Amen.